Oh. Oh, wonderful. Now I can take control. Take board up here. Take my hand. Single, have a single over here. Uh, no, I just have one single seat. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I have a sad single coming right now, but thank you so kind. I now understand. I'm a bit slow sometimes. <laughs> I think I'm going to go. Is everyone in? Here's man, I have to load my pants with Peter, you may want to grab, grab a couple chairs maybe from the other room, just in case. <laughs> Did everyone survive Saturday night? I'm still trying to decide if I do. Peter, if you're at the door, Peter, you guys, we might need a few chairs from the other room real quick if someone can grab some just in case. Oh, okay. All right. We're fine. Seats on the far end. Everyone wait, because I can't see anything but silhouettes. Okay, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Star Trek, ready? Grass <laughs> positions. Make sure you're ready for next year. <laughs> really said too much about it, but you know, I created, you know, who out of Colonel Flink and uh, Sergeant Schultz. <laughs> sort of combined. <laughs> With just a little of the Colonel from Bowinkle and Moose from I always envisioned it in my head. Except for King Robert through that door. Thank you. <laughs> All right. 
right. Is everyone here? Most of you aren't here. Yeah, Just making sure. Physically at least. Does anyone have any clues? Not that I'm asking, like, crunch time or anything. I'm just checking. <laughs> All right, all the doors locked. We are prepared. Now? And out. Seal the room! No one comes in or out! Are we sealed? Yes. Perfect. All right, I suppose you're all wondering why I've called you here. I have we... completed my investigation Our... into these murders that have occurred on this train, and I believe... We... I have determined the proper suspects. <laughs> For you see, someone in this room is a were those two James and Anya McCaffrey. But apparently your old friends just had an awkward experience about a few years ago. Awkward. I was, I was magically turned, forced to betray everything I believed in, and then to all intents and purposes, killed. Very awkward. And I had to track him halfway across the world and learn magic to see him. Yes, well, no one wants to air one's dirty laundry in public, so. <laughs> Well, I originally believed, as you'll all recall, that this woman right here, La Chartreuse, notorious assassin, temptress, and poisoner, may have been the culprit. How could anyone who knows of her dark deeds not suspect her immediately? So, somebody that only you knew was a poisoner was the obvious choice? I think you'll find that everything is obvious if you already know it. <laughs> <laughs> Now that you've told everyone. Well, it shouldn't be too hard for you to reinvent yourself, mademoiselle. Or should I say, Fraulein? <laughs> it's little moments like these that make me love detecting. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> the thing in the... No, anyway. This is not, in fact, La Chartreuse, but is, in fact, a woman named Hildegard Vergiften. What? Who? Huh? My Hildy? I thought you were dead. Yeah, it is me. I could not dare for you to know what I had become. I forgive you. So happy. Well, it's probably not her. <laughs> My suspect was one that we all agreed well founded. Someone who will do anything, including nearly murdering one of our other suspects, none other than Angelique Delamour. <laughs> However, she rarely gets her own hands dirty, so seven murders does seem a bit much. Yeah. You would imagine I would be so indelicate? I thought that it could have been one of her batons, perhaps Maximilian. Oh, gone now. Oh, Louise. Oh, she just arrived. What? Magic. Perhaps even Aubergine. Why? All right, all right, all right. Just Listen, first of all, you cleverly shot her before any of this began. Allegedly. Allegedly. And I don't want to ruin anyone's hashtag, but technically she wasn't murdered, all right? She's still alive. She's just a cloud of feathers floating around at the aether to be summoned again. So we do have a technicality on that one. Moving forward. It could have been Angelique's sire, Adamer de la Puy. I feel like we've all been giving her a pass. It's very cool. Being ancient has its privileges. <laughs> I still don't know if you're being serious when you say ancient. Being magical has its privileges. <laughs> sure. Oh, um, moving on. Oh. Um, of course, unfortunately, Madam President. Oh, yes, we do must consider her with now with the one with magical powers and all. I am a model citizen, though I do now have a strong craving for positive emotions. Yeah. That usually sorts itself out eventually. Especially with this crowd. <laughs> we. So I think we can agree that neither Angelique, her batons, or their associates are good suspects any longer. Yeah. Oh, we, of course, investigated Kaiser Krieger. My father would never move along. Uh, what about your mother, <laughs> Anne? You leave my mother out of this! <laughs> uh, what about 
about Captain the Great? Oh, Santa. <laughs> Don't look at me, I only use guns. Right. <laughs> and an ice cream yeah, scoop? Really? <laughs> was a murder committed with an ice cream scoop. Yes. Also, Tessie McCormick, the lab assistant. While seven experimental instances might be able to test a hypothesis, who would be the control group? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a fair point. Not her. <laughs> Not her. Oh, there's Burke and her. They gained quite a bit from this turn of events. Very true. I, oh, it couldn't have been us. Why would we help to dispose of the bodies if we were the ones who were killing them? Aye, we tried to conveniently be nowhere near any of the t place if the bodies were found. We have a natural talent to not be where a body is until after it, you know, dies. Aye, that's how we avoid the getting murdered this whole time. Good on us. <laughs> but, if it were us, which it weren't, we would be done right now because we are exhausted. exhausted and enough of this. We're done. Fine then, fine then. Who else? The Romanovs! Not without help. Has, has anyone seen my pistol? I seem to have misplaced it. Not without a great deal of help. <laughs> what, what about Eric Trippenwitz? He plays former swarm and no spy! Good lawyer, good judge, good psychiatrist, and astronaut. Eric! Without a great deal of help. <laughs> if what about? Proctocus. I swear I keep seeing him. I'm not even here! Oh, okay I mean... then. <laughs> well, of course we can't rule out ourselves. I checked. Only two of us were ever in a room when a murder was committed. No, that's... That's almost everyone. <clears throat> No, I checked everyone, they're fine. Okay, good. Well. <laughs> Which means, of course... The only possible murderer is... Drum roll, please. Christine Hornsby! Oh, very dare you. Really? The butler did it? <laughs> Not a butler, not a groundskeeper, not a secretary, not even old man Jenkins. I said I was sorry. No, you didn't. Well, I thought it really hard. You know what? I'm not even Crispin Hornsby. What? What? No. For years, I've been moving the pawns in place, and if anything already, you two are always so close, discovering what I really am, what I truly am. Now you know more than I care to tell. No, you know everything. No more mute clues, no more suspects, no nothing. So you know more than you wish to know. Well, I guess he did do it. You owe me five pounds. Yes, I did it. Everyone I killed was getting too close to discovering my true identity and telling to Lord Bobbins. It's taken me years poisoning him with mind controlling agents. Now he's a puppet, dancing like little puppet strings. So easy. And, uh, See? Very good, yes. Yeah, good yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? It's too late now. We're back on sovereign soil. What I My power over him is complete. And his power over the world is complete. Cannot be undone. You've been poisoning Bobbins to control him. I mean, honestly, he does seem a lot of it out of it. It is. Anyone see my mustache? Oh, dear. Who's <laughs> He trusted you. You barely noticed me. What of my beautiful plan? And I took possession of this horrible body in its pupil form. Pupil form? Oh, I think he means childhood. Do you mind? <laughs> All right. Thank you. Don't you have a dream about this? No, not yet. <laughs> I am a swarm. Minions! We are I have been and will ever for shall for me, whatever that word is, the Cheyenne. Oh, I did have a dream about something like that last year. I remember. 
people's very delicious. <laughs> I don't think that matters now. <laughs> you know, honestly, I can't help but feel like we're waiting for one more shoe to drop. <laughs> Thousands of us look younger and take years off of our young ages. <laughs> ah, but somewhat. And I was tasked with the alien king of William, alien king William IV and the sickly Queen Victoria. In my avarice of knowledge, I dabbled with the growing dark arts of this age. I thought my mind great enough to counter the evil that seeped into weaker vessels. It was not my mind that saved me. I was corrupted. I fell like the morning star himself. I created the most powerful alchemical agent, the Lazarus elixir. I drank it myself and turned into the monster that warred and for power and of absolute obedience. I turned to the Cheyenne and made it what it is today. Fear. Fear, great fear and control unlike the world has ever seen. In our rituals, we called something up, something old. And I thought it was imbuing me with power. Except it chose another vessel. It lied to me. It was only a few years ago that I realized some of my most successful minions, the Russians, had been slowly and methodically killed off. Most recently, Baron von Schoenskopf. Oh. And Chips Ahoy. Oh. I had few choices to make. No one gets a hairy kiss on Dr. Procticus. <laughs> no one pulls the wool over my eyes. I had to reverse the madness while in China. And with the help of the ancient medicines, I reverse engineered the serum that nearly killed me years ago. To be dark killer, I had to think <laughs> like a who? The hero. <laughs> I, I planned 
to make our killer reveal themselves by placing them into a gauntlet of witnesses. But unfortunately, every time I tipped an informant, the killer somehow knew and, and killed them off before revealing to Stinging, I mean Hastings, the true identity. You knew him as the valet Hornsby, and you have conveniently exercised him for me, and that you should thank me for being the hero of oh. <laughs> oh, today, and bow with my leave, for I am one of you, the good, oh, good guys. <laughs> so many years ago. Ah, <laughs> oh, pomegranate tea. Worth a deal with Hades. More sugar, Herr Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. I mean, Krieger. Call me Doctor. I'm just confused. <laughs> All those evil plans. <laughs> Would you like some cream for your pomegranate tea? In pomegranate tea? What kind of madman do you take <laughs> Just checking. How is Robert? Um, he's resting still. <laughs> Lydia and Montgomery are caring for him, and Dr. Todd has even stopped by to say hello to him. I'm just glad that the serum worked. With me back and Robert on the mend, I can't help but think there are new horizons out there. The world is changing. The Cheyenne is gone. Governments are reforming. We can breathe. There will be more adventures, I am sure. Yes, but every breath, every breath is an adventure. And every time you remember, that is a victory. I'm glad I taught you something, young man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, old man. <laughs> but now, with my cousin incapacitated, I am regent. Now, I don't really want that sort of power, but I am going to make one capricious and arbitrary change in imperial law. <laughs> After we're done with tea, would you like to join me in a large bowl of strawberry ice cream? <laughs> When do you think we'll be able to have tea again, Doctor? Oh, perhaps next fall. There is so much to do. Very well, next fall then. All right. I hope we'll see all of our friends again next fall, and perhaps in between as well. Yeah. I would like that very much indeed. <laughs> 